Hey guys, I got another special unboxing video here for you today. Today we are going to be unboxing the second wave of Splatoon Amiibos for the Nintendo Wii U. Now, I was not expecting <laughs> another wave of Splatoon Amiibos. I literally thought that the first wave was going to be the only Amiibos that Splatoon's was going to have. Well, lo and behold, they had a second wave just announced. And this one's actually kind of special because not only, um, well, <laughs> most of them are just recolors of the other Splatoon Amiibos, but the thing that's special about this one is this one has the Squid Sisters from Splatoon in it. So now we have to unbox not only another reskin colored version of the, the three pack, but we have the Squid Sisters to unbox as well. So, with that, let's get on to the unboxing. Alright guys, now we're going on to the unboxing portion of this video here. Now I'm going to go ahead and unbox the Squid Sisters dual pack right here, because this is actually like the first dual pack of Amiibos that I've ever unboxed on this thing. Normally I've always unboxed a triple pack like the, the Splatoon 3 pack that I have right here, but uh, what the Callie and Mary Squid Sisters Amiibo do is they actually make it so that you can have a special performance in Splatoon, so you can listen to the music that they sing and everything else. And I do believe they changed the stage of Splatoon, of the Squid Plaza, the Inkopolis Plaza, to match Splatfest. I think because, well, <laughs> as of this recording, there's only going to be one more Splatfest, and that's to in uh, honor of these two Squid Sisters. You can use both these Squid Sisters as choices in the Splatfest. And there's only going to be one more. I think this is Nintendo's way of keeping the spirit of Splatfest in Splatoon with these Amiibo. So let's get on to unboxing here. Now, if you've never seen me unbox an Amiibo on this channel before, I have a specific way I unbox uh, Amiibo. And that is to... And I usually preserve the packaging because I like the packaging of the Amiibo. I take my knife right here, and I put an entry hole right here, I start carving my way around the base here until I get three-fourths of the way around here. Then I lift up the packaging, I go and I snag the Amiibos. And then that way I preserve the packaging in case I ever have to move my Amiibos and I want to put them back in the box. This is the easiest way I can do it. So let's go on to the unboxing here. I'm going to go ahead and make an entry hole right here. Start carving my way. So, I always come around here like this, and carve it like this. There we go. So now, we lift up at a 90 degree angle, and go in here and snag both of the Amiibos. Now, there is one reason why you, if you want to unbox these, is you cannot keep, you cannot use the Amiibo inside the box. The reason why are these things right here. These things right here prevent it so that you can't just plop the amiibo on your, the, in the box on your gamepad and you can use the amiibo here. You have to take them out. So that's pretty much why they do that. But as soon as you do that, you just open it up like this. And you can snag both the amiibos like this. And there you go. You got both the amiibos right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and unbox the three pack. And I'll see you guys in just a second. We'll take a look at each one. Alright, so now that we've unboxed all the Amiibo here, let's go ahead and take a look at each one individually. The first Amiibo is the Inkling Squid Amiibo out of the three pack here. This one is a very different color, and I went ahead and I grabbed the other set here to kind of compare the colors here. This one is just a simply an orange recolor of the green one, the original one in the first wave here. So that's if you wanted to see that. But I really do like the squid amiibo because if you see how glossy it looks especially on like the ink here I really like the finish here with the gloss and everything else they did really good fine detail that and you can kind of see the gloss on his eyes too I really like that you can kind of see the slippery feel of the of the squid if you know what I mean that's one th one thing that really attracted me to these amiibo is just this glossy finish it has it looks really cool and plus I like the orange look because it looks like the squid on the cover of Splatoon. So that's the Inkling Squid. The next amiibo is the Inkling 
girl here. Now this one is another <laughs> recolor of the first one here. I'll go ahead and compare the original one right here. And as you guys can see, she has a green feel or green like look to her. Her her gun's even green compared to the other one, which is orange. And her suit, if you look at it, her jumpsuit and everything is black compared to the white t-shirt that the other one has. So she kind of has a very, very different coloring scheme than the other one does. But it pretty much looks like the same as the other one. As you guys can see, very glossy finish on the, the squid portion of her. You can see the ink in her backpack here. And the glossy finish on her gun and everything else. The only thing I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> and you can kind of see the crease here where they connected her head. That's like my only big complaint about this figure. But other than that, it looks really good. But that was Inkling Girl. The next amiibo is the Inkling Boy. <laughs> now he has a very, very different coloring scheme than the original one. Here's the original right here. As you guys can see, the biggest difference that this one has is the Inkling Boy has darker skin than the other one here, so it's got more of a uh, tannish look to him. So, and not only that, he's got a purple color scheme where the Inkling Boy has a blue color scheme. And that's actually one thing I kind of like is <laughs> all the color schemes so far kind of contrast each other with the boy and the girl, and I really like that. But as you guys can see, the boy has another glossy feel to it kind of glossy look on his hair and his tentacles. You can see his tentacles tied up in a bandana and everything. You can see his pack right there, his ink pack right there. You can see the gel inside. And a glossy look on his gun right there. And as another main difference is you can see his t-shirt is brown compared to the other one which is white. <laughs> so that's another difference right there. But you can kind of see the major difference the only major difference is the color scheme. So if you have the first one, you're not really missing much. Now I will say, as I finish this this three pack up, these guys do the exact same as the other ones. So if you're expecting them to do more challenges in Splatoon, no, they do this exact same challenges as the first Splatoon pack. So really in the end, it doesn't matter which one you pick up. Just pick one up that you like color-wise. <laughs> So that's pretty, that's the Inkling Boy. The next amiibo was the start of the Squid Sister dual pack here. It's Callie. Callie and her sister Mary are Squid Sisters that perform in Inklopolis uh, Plaza right there. And they do music and everything else. And then they're, they're the originators of the Stay Fresh uh, catchphrase that Splatoon is known for. These amiibo, holy cow, they put a lot of effort in this amiibo. As you guys can see, she has a very distinct look on her and everything else. You can see her little cloth on her head, and you can see her dress and everything else. It's all sparkly and glittery, and everything else looks so pretty. The ink is so glossy, and everything else. Everything about this just screams fashion sense. <laughs> it looks really good. I really like these amiibo. They put a lot of effort in this. So I'm really happy with these. But that's that's Callie. And the last amiibo is Callie's twin sister, Mary. Now, like her sister right here, she has a very glossy look on her, especially her dress with sparkles and glitters everywhere. It looks so pretty. And the squid ink right here coming up. It has a glossy finish. You can kind of see how shiny this amiibo looks. It looks very different and her face looks very detailed for a cartoon character. Her hair. And then not only that, the little thing on her hair, the little hat that she has on. It looks really good and I like the details that both these sisters have. It, it just, it really screams fashion sense. I really like that. It looks really pretty. They look they look like they did a lot of work on these amiibos. And I'm kind of glad they did. But that's Mary. But yeah, guys, that was the Splatoon Series 2 amiibo unboxing. And I do believe that this is going to be the last wave of Splatoon amiibos because really, <laughs> I can't really think of them making any more amiibos besides this because... Well, the last Splatfest that just got announced, and I don't think they're going to be supporting 
like any major events with the game very much anymore. But this was a nice little like swan song if you want to take any sort of <laughs> swan song. I, that that seems like an appropriate phrase for this for Splatoon to leave off on is this series of amiibo here. I am really happy with these amiibo. These amiibo look really pretty. And <laughs> I can't wait to use them. So with that guys, I will see you guys in the next unboxing I do. Take care everybody.